Hello again. Well, I hope your Monday went well. You managed to keep the cold out yourself. Look at these deer. They're so chilly. They even got frost on them. Either that or they've been rolling in it. But anyway, we're going to see further cold weather and some frost around, particularly where we've got clear skies. But there is a bit more cloud around in the daytime and overnight, and that will lead to less frost or patchy frost anyway. And it's going to get a bit less cold as we go through towards the end of the working week. Nothing too dramatic, but just those temperatures coming up uh, a tiny bit to where they should be for this time of year. So as for this evening and tonight, you can see this line here. Now this is where the cloud is to the southeast. Where we've got clearer skies, that's where we're likely to get a sharper frost and the risk of some freezing fog, which can of course affect visibility and potentially lead to a bit of ice as well. Uh, under the cloudier skies, less chance of uh, frost or if we do get one patchier in nature, but still really cold, still down to uh, near freezing, but right below freezing where we get the clearer skies, as I said. So tomorrow morning, Morning. Again, plenty of cloud around in London, another chilly start. The best of the sunshine to the northwest once any of that potential freezing fog has disappeared out of the way. And with this cloud, another cold day, highs of only four or five degrees, although we have got fairly light winds. And then into the evening, a rinse and repeat really, where those clear skies are, the temperatures drop further, and another risk of frost uh, and freezing fog again. Now, as we head into Wednesday, we've got this front sinking south. That's going to bring more cloud and maybe a little bit of drizzle around us well so not particularly beautiful on Wednesday high pressure as we move into Thursday and Friday so staying settled and then you can see those temperatures nudging up a tiny bit uh, Mindy did in Hampton Court but it is still really cold outside tonight the risk of more frost and freezing fog again pretty dry day tomorrow but do watch out for some drizzle later on and it's still chilly so let's take a look at the detail for you so where we've got the clearer skies to the north and west that's when we've got the higher risk of that freezing fog again and sharp frost Hello again. Oh, I've used this photo more than once today because I just think little Hargreaves is so cute and he is loving the frost. Unlike probably many other people, you might be pleased to know that it's going to become a little bit patchier in nature. Although Friday night might be pretty cold once again. So a bit damp this evening, but over the next few days, we've got high pressure settling in, giving us quite a lot of dry conditions. There is a fair bit of cloud around, but brighter at times and a tiny bit less chilly by day. Nothing very dramatic though, I'm afraid at the moment. So let's Let's take a look at tonight. You can see we've got this front passing through, bringing some rain and drizzle. It's out of the way though fairly quickly. And behind it, some clear spells, also still some cloud. The odd shower, but mostly a dry night. Temperatures are still cold, still getting close to around freezing, particularly in the countryside. But as I said, if we get any frost, it's more likely to be patchy and not widespread. So we start tomorrow still chilly uh, maybe a shower passing through but again pretty dry setup there is a fair bit of cloud around again but it's likely to be a bit higher in the sky not quite as low and murky and hopefully a few breaks in it to allow if not some brightness then perhaps a touch of sunshine through our temperatures are up a degree highs of seven or eight but they're just a little bit breezy particularly out towards the east coast if you've got plans for the evening not a huge amount of change again mostly dry and i'm afraid it's going to be quite chilly once again so the outlook a settled picture for us we've got this high pressure which is just keeping things pretty benign on the weather front you can see thursday and friday hopefully a bit of sunshine breaking through maybe a bit more cloud into the weekend the temperature staying fairly suppressed uh, particularly at night time just starting to come up a touch through the weekend that's it i'll see you later on cheerio Hello again. Hope you've all had a lovely day so far. Well, the main story as we go through the next few days is fairly quiet for many of us. We'll see clearing skies as we go through tonight, and most of the days will be largely dry, but we are expecting the return of the frosty nights. So currently we've got high pressure in charge of things. We've got the system, it's still working its way through, but quite soon it's gonna move out of the way. Clearing skies behind it, so we'll see plenty of sunshine as we go through Thursday. Perhaps a bit more cloud on Friday, but you can see in this chart here, not much rain for us, so staying largely dry and fairly calm. Now in the meantime, coming back to the rest of this evening and tonight, well that system is now pushed out of the way, may just see the odd light shower, but for most of us through the small hours, dry, clearing skies, still quite a breeze though out towards coastal areas, but come further inland, maybe seeing a touch of frost. So it will be quite a chilly start to the day tomorrow morning, but for most of us we'll be greeted by plenty of winter sunshine. Bits of cloud as we go through the afternoon, so we can't rule out the chance of the odd very light shower, but the main story as we go through Thursday, fine and dry conditions, bright or sunny spells and temperatures there up to around 7 or 8 degrees, 8 
is 46 in Fahrenheit. And then looking further ahead, well, we are expecting a widespread frost as we move through Thursday night 